On this day, February 24th, on the church year calendar, we recognize the festival day of St. Matthias the Apostle. The Holy Church remembers and thanks God for St. Matthias the Apostle. This being a festival day, there are appointed readings, so along with the devotion, I will begin it with the readings. There are three readings, an Old Testament reading from the prophet Isaiah, the 66th chapter, verses 1 and 2, then from the book of Acts, the first chapter, verses 15 through 26, and then the gospel reading is from St. Matthew, the 11th chapter, verses 25 through 30. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hear the word of the Lord from the prophet Isaiah, the 66th chapter, verses 1 and 2. Thus says the Lord, Heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. What is the house that you would build for me, and what is the place of my rest? All these things my hand has made, and so all these things came to be, declares the Lord. But this is the one to whom I will look, he who is humble and contrite in spirit and trembles at my word. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The second reading is from the book of Acts, the first chapter, verses 15 through 26. In those days, Peter stood up among the brothers. The company of persons was in all about 120 and said, Brothers, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand by the mouth of David concerning Judas, who became a guide to those who arrested Jesus. For he was numbered amongst us and was allotted his share in this ministry. Now this man acquired a field with the reward of his wickedness, and falling headlong he burst open in the middle, and all his bowels gushed out. And it became to be known to all the inhabitants of Israel, so that the field was called in their own language, Echildama, that is, the field of blood. For it is written in the book of Psalms, May his camp become desolate, and let there be no one to dwell in it, and let another take his office. So one of the men who have accompanied us during all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day when he was taken up from us, one of these men must become with us a witness to his resurrection. And they put forward two, Joseph, called Barsabias, who all who was also called Justice, and Matthias. And they prayed and said, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this ministry and apostleship from which Judas turned aside to go to his own place. And they cast lots for them, and the lot fell on Matthias, and he was numbered with the eleven apostles. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the Gospel reading is from the Gospel of St. Matthew, the 11th chapter, verses 25 through 30. At that time Jesus declared, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handled, o handed over to me by my Father. And no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The devotion for St. Matthias, Apostle. We know little about the man himself, but we know more about the circumstances of Matthias' call to be an Apostle. In the in-between period, 
of the Ascension and Pentecost after Judas's tragic suicide, the apostles, St. Mary and the brother of our Lord, were devoted to a time of prayer. About 120 believers comprise the ancient church. In the context of prayer and waiting for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, Peter was moved to fill the place vacated by Judas Iscariot among the apostles. Pointing to the Psalms, Psalm 69 and Psalm 109, he showed that another was to take the office vacated by the man who had betrayed the Lord. But not just any one of the believers would do. He laid down specific qualifications. So one of the men who have accompanied us during all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day when he was taken up from us, one of these men must become with us a witness to his resurrection. Acts 1, 21 and 22. So the primary concern was that the man would have witnessed the ministry of Christ and seen with his own eyes the Lord Jesus risen from the dead. This qualified him to be a true apostle, a witness to the resurrected one. Two candidates were put forward, one of whom was Matthias. Prayer was offered for God to show his will, and lots were then cast. The phrase also means votes cast. Thus, the eleven received and welcomed Matthias as one of their fellow apostles, and the church has ever since honored him. Traditions about the location of his ministry vary. Some suggest he labored in Ethiopia, while another account links him to bringing the faith to Armenia, the first nation to accept Christianity. He is said to have been martyred at Colchis in Asia Minor around A.D. 50. The great cathedral at Trier, at Trier claims to be the final resting place, the only one of the twelve, if the tradition is correct, who was buried north of the Alps. What is certain is that Matthias was a co-laborer with his fellow apostles. After the dispersion of the apostles, he brought his witness of Christ's resurrection to those who still sat in darkness and the shadow of death that they too might enter into the great joy of forgiveness and everlasting life. When we gather in the new Jerusalem, one of whose foundation stones will bear the name Matthias, we shall perhaps be blessed to learn of his labors with certainty and celebrate with those brought to faith by his preaching of the saving gospel. Until then, for your servant Matthias, O Lord, Receive our thanks and praise. We close in prayer. O Almighty God, you chose your servant Matthias to be numbered among the twelve. Grant that your church, ever preserved from false teachers, may be taught and guided by faithful and true pastors. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.